Hello everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. Last time we left off, we liberated this weather station from the evil Team Aqua, and now we're going to go on this bridge, I guess. And whatever is on the other side of this bridge. See an elixir. Nice. Can't remember what those do. I think they were sort of the PP of all your moves. Not quite sure though. Anyway, let's go up north here and okay, I guess we won't go up north. Oh, it's you again. Where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you got? Let me check for you. Ready with your Pokemon? Of course you are. Go! Um, why? I didn't say I was ready for this. In fact, I probably am ready for this though. I think I healed before I left this place. Oh, I am ready. Come on, Line, and we'll show who's boss. Um, by headbutting them. Oh, dang it. I hate that fake out move. I don't. I honestly don't really see the point of it unless something has the ability sturdy because. No, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I mean, you attack for 7 damage, and. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't do 7 all the time, obviously, but it's just such a small amount of damage and it makes you flinch. So basically. Almost nothing happens. I mean, you get the first attack for the tiniest amount of damage, and then that's it. I, I, I don't understand fake out at all. Like I said, if you use it for sturdy, then yeah, it could be okay, but eh, I don't know. Anyway, two down already. What else you got? Ooh, a Marsh Town. Well, you only got three Pokemon. What a loser. This person was telling me that I'm a loser. What a. What a, that's like a double loser move right there. Well, take a headbutt to the neck. Yeah, like, Linewood headbutts this thing in the neck, like, where the impact appears on the sprite of the other Pokemon. It's like right on its neck or something. Let's try it again. Okay, maybe on a, more of a, on its chin, but still, that would hurt too. Although it'd probably hurt a little bit more if you got headbutted in the neck. I don't know. I don't think I'd want to be headbutted anywhere at all. <laughs> but that's just me. Alright. Level 36. Very nice. And we win. Our rival battle. Acha. What the heck does that mean? Black Ice, you're strong. I was worried that you might be struggling with your training. <laughs> right. Right. You haven't done nearly as much grinding as I have. Oh, HMO too. I don't remember what this is, but I'm sure it's useful. Fly. Actually, that is very useful, because I have a flying-type Pokemon, Ermagerd. Okay, um, bye. We'll never come back. Oh, who's... Oh, this guy, Scott. Ha ha ha, way to go, black guys. I just passed by a trainer riding a bike. You beat that trainer, didn't you? It was pretty obvious that you did, even though I didn't see it at all, because I'm wearing sunglasses in a thunderstorm. The kid looked really upset with the face all red from anger. I sure seem to run into you often. Are you off to Fortree Gym next? I expect that you'll do well at the gym. Well, I'll be seeing you. Thank you, but I don't know that the sunglasses are all that necessary. Uh, we're gonna teach Fly to uh, Pelipper right now. And there it is, Fly. Not that we really need it a whole lot. Uh, okay, Pelipper, here, have your Fly. I guess we'll maybe get rid of Wing Attack. Yeah, that's probably the best course of action. Although I kind of like Wing Attack, it's just not very that... It's not that good. It's okay. Alright, um... We didn't teach anything anything else. Doesn't look like it. No, probably not. No, I think we're good for now. Um, I'm gonna switch Pokemon around a little bit. Have Manetric have a couple of battles. Just want to get the levels all nice and even. Uh, let's see. Nothing in there. Oh, there's a cardboard box ninja in the tree. Hit me with a power cord. Victory is mine. It's our time to shine. Whoa, yeah. Okay, guy, you're a little bit too pumped up for this battle. I mean, and why are you shirtless playing an electric guitar in a thunderstorm? That's probably the most odd situation I've seen anyone in this game. But hey, it's an honor battle, so... I guess that's kind of cool. Even though this guy's really, really weird. I don't know what it is with Nintendo games, but... It seems that the characters usually don't pay attention to the weather. 
I remember when I was playing Animal Crossing for GameCube, like, a long time ago. This guy, well, he's an animal, he was a gorilla, and his name was Louie, I think. And he was, well, it was night when I was playing, and it also happened to be a thunderstorm in the game. But he was sleeping outside in the middle of a thunderstorm. I mean, the characters, they can sleep outside sometimes, but this guy was right outside of his own house. Hey, are you gonna wake up? Yeah, okay, there we go. He was, like, literally right outside of his own house sleeping in a thunderstorm. What the heck? How couldn't you get the, f like, the few feet it takes to go into your actual house? Why, why was that so hard? I mean, and how could you be that tired where even though it's raining and there's thun lightning and thunder, it, but you just collapse and go to sleep? I mean, what happened to him? Either he didn't know what was going on outside, or I don't know. I guess maybe he could have fallen asleep before the storm happened, but either way, wouldn't the rain, lightning, and thunder wake him up? Uh-oh. Something unseeable in the way. Totally don't need some kind of gadget to find him. Another cardboard box ninja. Hey, get, get out of here, guys. I don't know if it's always supposed to be raining on this route, but I don't know. Some of the people here make no sense. Actually, I probably mentioned this before, but um, in X and Y, there's these people that will, um, they'll, like, hide inside of a pile of leaves. Like, there will be, like, a maybe one foot high pile of leaves and an entire four foot to six foot trainer will pop out of there. I mean, I don't know how high they are in the game, but I'd assume that, you know, they'd at least have to be, like, four or ten at the very least, if they're, like, little kids. And then maybe if they're, like, I don't know, a teenager or something, they'd be, like, five-something, and maybe if they were closer to an adult, they'd be, like, six foot. Either way, I don't know how you manage that, but... And they're not ninjas, either. They're just regular people hiding in one-foot-high pile of leaves. And essentially what happens is they just come right out of the ground. So, I don't, I don't know how they do that, but those are the real ninjas. I mean, forget these cardboard box people. These people are, like, phasing through the ground as if they're in another plane of existence. Oh, it's kind of weird. And it was, it scared me at first when it happened in the game, because I was just going by, and then all of a sudden, just right there. It's almost like a jump scare. Why is it still raining? I don't think it's supposed to still be raining here. Um, okay. Oh, oh, there it goes. Who's this guy? The city consists of homes built on trees. Perhaps because of that lifestyle, everyone is healthy and lively. Why, even myself, I feel as if I've grown 30 years younger. Okay. So, you heard it here first, everybody. Living in trees is the secret to eternal youth and health and success. So, um, if you don't live in a tree, I suggest you plant one in your backyard, and maybe by the time you're that guy's age, it'll be fully grown, but then you won't have to worry, because although you may be old by the time it's fully grown, you'll at least get to go back in time through the use of that tree. Let's go to the mart. I don't know if I have anything to sell, but, uh, might as well check. Um, I haven't really been keeping this sorted. No, maybe not, then. Maybe not. No, I'm okay. And I don't think I need to buy anything here. I think I just need to, um, battle the gym leader, if I could find that person. But, uh, I don't know. I, I always kind of liked Fortree City. I mean, it was a really cool idea. Some of the cities in Hoenn are kind of cool ideas, where, um, you know, they have this city in the trees, and... Oh, trade? I, I don't have that. Sorry, guy. They have, like, you know, the city and the trees like this, and they, uh, spoiler alert, they have a city on the water as well. It's kind of similar to Fortree City. And it makes that little sound when you walk over the little bridges. So that's kind of cool. But, for some reason, I remember, like, when I would play on my Game Boy Advance, or, uh-oh. We're gonna go right every time. Let's see what happens. Okay. Maybe, let's try this again. I have to, I have to get this. I hate these guessing games. So it's right. Is it gonna be right again? Yes. Okay. Then we'll try left. 
Okay, so there is an answer to it. Okay. I got TM10. I think it's like Psychic, maybe. Um, no, it's Hidden Power. Okay. They have like a similar thing like that where you have to guess what hand it is in and they'll give you Psychic for that. I forget what game that is. Sleep Talk? No thanks, old guy. Bye. That was kind of mean. I don't mean it, old guy. I, I, we're cool, right? Okay, this is the nerd, the nerd house. Or, um, actually you could call this the nerd herd. What are these nerdy guys? They're like scientists or something. What's that thing you have there? Oh, it's called a Pokédex? It's really awesome. Okay, I guess they're not nerds. I guess they just have glasses. Well, speaking about Pokédexes, I remembered something. I met this trainer, Steven, when I was searching for rare stones. Oh boy, he had some amazing Pokémon with him. They weren't just rare, they were trained to terrifying extremes. He might even be stronger than the gym leader in this town. Of course he is, he's the Elite Four champion. You chump. Okay, what do you have to say? Gigantic Pokémon in the sky, huh? Seem to squirm as it flew towards Route 131? Um, okay. Right. That guy didn't take his medications today. Um, bye. <laughs> that was weird. He just made his Pokemon go out the door and it's gone now. I saw the gym, but I just want to make sure there's nothing past here that I have to worry about. Well, I guess not. I guess that's the end of the city there. Oh, there's this big bridge. Let's see what's on. For some reason, you can't run when you're up here. Oh, are these guys selling stuff? Oh, yeah, they sell stuff for your secret base. I don't need any of that. But they sell, like, furniture and pokey dolls and stuff. This bridge is really long, and I don't know if there's a point to it. There's gotta be something in... Nope, just random people. I don't know why you can't run as soon as you get on the tree platforms. Like, even on when you're not in the bridge, you just can't run. Don't know why. I, I guess so it's like, so you don't fall, but I mean, uh oh, wait, what the heck. Something unseeable's in the way, okay. Maybe I do have to go away from here. Yeah, I remember now, because you have to go this way, and then this person battles you, and then gives you the answer to the universe, which will remove said unseeable object. No, not really, that's not what happens, but you do battle this person. I guess you don't really have to. But anyway, we're going to, and we are going to win, and we will get some money for doing that. Yeah, I didn't think they'd do a whole lot of damage there, but whatever. And that's going to be kind of annoying, too. But I, at the same time, I don't want to risk a direct attack in case it has a poison point. Just because that's really annoying, and I don't like having to deal with it all the time. Yeah, go ahead, use your- oh, Stun Spore, well that's even worse. Well, now I don't have to worry about Poison Points, so I can just use Quick Attack if I- Yeah, I still have that move. Thank you for allowing me to win, without the inconvenience of being poisoned. Wilmer, huh? Okay, we should be able to take this thing out one hit. Alright, give it a Thunderbolt. Okay, if it- if it gets a lot of rollouts on me, I'm gonna die. Come on, Thunderbolt. Okay, that's fine. Use your Astonish. There we go. Win. And then we can heal the Paralysis when we're done. Assuming we have the things to do that. I think we do. I think we have at least a few full heals. If not, maybe Lion can pick one up for us. But uh, I'll check. Whoops. Didn't mean to... Oh wait, no. Lion does have something. I didn't actually mean to check him, though. Great ball. Thank you. Um, I meant to check the bag. I always make the mistake for whatever reason. Alright, so do we have a paralyzed heal? Um, we have full heals, so... Okay, do we have a berry that can do it? Always use the berries first if you can. No, we don't. Okay, so we're gonna have to use the full heal, unfortunately. And eh, whatever. I mean, I guess that's why we have them. No sense just keeping them and never using them. Oh no, it's these guys again! You know what? I'll do it. I'll talk to the camera guy this time. I'll get this battle all here on camera or something. Oh man, I don't know what to tell them. I'm not ready for another interview, and it's been so such a short amount of time. But okay, Loudred and Magneton. I think we got this. It may be difficult, actually. Actually, what we can do... Thunderbolt that guy, Rock Smash that guy. 
because that guy's a steel type and this guy is normal. Yeah, there we go. Thunderbolt's powerful enough to take him out. And this probably won't be powerful enough. Um, yeah, Sonic Boom, it's whatever. Okay, so our best bet's just to go with the same combo, I guess. Although, we're not going to do a whole lot of damage just because, uh, you know, the steel type and whatnot. Okay, he is going to get another attack off, but that'll be his last. So I didn't beat him as bad as last time, but that's okay. They still don't stand a chance. Okay, I'm going to have to find a good, deep meaning to this battle now. To make sure that, um, you know, I gotta give a very philosophical answer. It's probably the best thing to do. Left, remember? That's the quote you gave me as, a, as the battle clincher last time. I never, ever forget stuff like that. Well, you're okay. Anyway, what do you think? Do you want to be interviewed again? Yeah, sure. Well, thank you. Okay, I need you to describe your feelings about our battle. But it has to be short and sweet. Go! Okay, well, I'm not gonna do left again. We already did that. Um, let's do voices. No, that's lame. That's not even voices. Um, lifestyle? Yes. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. Lessons. Uh, how about digital? No, that's too accurate. Because I'm playing on an emulator. And, and also in a video game. But lifestyles has some good words there. Let's go all the way to the bottom. Let's see what they have. And then we'll work our way up. Uh, let's see. No. No. Hmm. It was very... Let's see. Our battle was... In my opinion, I'd have to say... This battle was quite message. Quite message indeed. Hmm. Yeah, that's the perfect clincher. I get the feeling that this will make a great TV show. <laughs> Sweet, we're gonna be on TV. There's a chance that they'll air this on TV, so make sure to look for us. Okay, we'll be seeing you. Yeah, and if only you could find an actual, you know, good interview person. That Pokemon is strong. How about yours? Or he said something like that. Oh, he's got the he's he's a bird Pokemon guy. Bird Keeper Robert. Okay, guy. You're gonna lose because that's not well, it's a bird now, but it becomes a dragon. I think Altaria is probably like the most forgotten dragon, or dragon-type Pokemon, at least I think it's dragon-type. It can definitely learn dragon-type moves, I know that for sure. And if it is a dragon, then, you know, it's oddly enough, it can actually- oh, come on. Oh, you know what I noticed? I didn't get called at the beginning of the episode. In fact, I don't think I've been called all episode, so I don't want to jinx that. Oh, wait a minute. Get out of here, Steven, I don't want to talk to you. Okay, I'm gonna have to go through here. Awesome. Oh, come on, I can't get that either. Whatever. I'll s well, let's go around here. Dang it. I figured that would happen. Stupid, unseeable objects. Why can't you just push them out of the way? I mean, yeah, they're there. Yeah, you can't see them. But what's stopping you from moving them? You know, it's not like they're walls. Or are they? No, they're not. All right. Hmm, black ice. Hi, it's been a while. There's something here that you can't see, right? Now, if I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle... No, no, rather than describing it, I should just show you. That should be more fun. Black Eyes, your Pokemon ready to, for battle? Yeah. Black Eyes, show me your true power as a trainer. Use the Devon Scope. Oh, sweet! Who would have guessed that the unseeable object was a Pokemon? Whoa. And it's an invisible not invisible thing. Kecleon. Anyway, uh, let's use Thunderbolt against it. It has a cool ability called Color Change, where wherever, yeah, now it's an electric type, so if I were to use Thunderbolt again, it would do less damage, so. Basically, that can be good in certain situations, like, if you're going up against a Pokemon with only one type of attack, then it'll eventually make it so that it will always be not very effective, since it'll be, for example, using fire-type attacks on a fire-type. But you can also take advantage of it, like if you have a psychic attack, 
and then follow up with a dark type attack, then it'll be super effective, and you can just uh, manipulate its type to f like fit your advantage or whatever. I see. Your battle style is intriguing. Your Pokémon have obviously grown since I first met you in Dooford. I'd like you to have this Devon Scope. Who knows? There may be other concealed Pokémon. Thanks for the Devon Scope, Steven. Black Eyes put away the... Oh yeah, whatever. Black Eyes, I enjoy seeing Pokémon and trainers who strive together. I think you're doing great. Well, let's meet again somewhere. Bye. Oh, come on. Isaac, it's not the time. I have to go uh, move immovable, you know, unseeable objects or something. Alright, there we go. And we'll get this guy out of the way. Unfortunately, we do have to battle every time we do this, but... I want to get the item down here and then we can go to the gym later, which... Um, unfortunately, we're probably not going to have enough time in this episode to take that person on. I don't remember if it's a guy or a girl. Because usually, when I play on my Game Boy Advance, when I get to this point in the game, I'm like, eh, I'm kind of bored, I don't want to play anymore. But, um, luckily, luckily I've been able to stay with the game, and I've been having fun with it this whole time. I think it is a lot easier to play a game when you're sharing your experience with someone else, so... I don't know, I, I think that may have been what's keeping my interest in this game to this point, because usually I kind of lose interest at this point, because... You know, I don't know why, it's just at this point in the game, I... I don't know. I I've never been able to explain it, really. Anyway, let's, let's get our prize. A nest ball. Great. That's our prize. Fantastic. Alright, let's go to the gym leader. Well, actually, we should... Actually, we'll get rid of it, heal our Pokemon, and then go back. Uh, one of the things about... Oh, I, 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 I don't remember what it is, and I can't talk either. Oh no, that one just leaves. Okay, I guess I can go to the Pokemon Center then. Now, one of the things about this game that I don't like is the surfing. Uh, pretty soon we're coming up to a part that's like really surf heavy. Because just the region, the way it is, a lot of it's like islands and in the water. I shouldn't say a lot of it, but it just takes forever to do and it's kind of annoying. And, you know, I'm not the only one who thinks that. I know a lot of people don't like that particular part of the game, but some people do like it. And... There are things I do like about it, like diving is pretty cool, but I don't like having to surf across a huge ocean in anything, including Pokemon. But anyway, actually, let's let's check out our Pokemon. We could probably get the order a little bit better. And I don't remember what type of gym leader this is either, so this should be at least interesting. Yeah, the order seems good. Anyway, that's going to do it for me for today, so... Oh, got to save. So thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video as always, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye everyone, have a great day.